Hey everyone, Ethan here from Extreme RC 4x4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to adjust your drive chain uh, tension on the Kyoshio Blizzard. So we can go ahead and get right into this. I like to remove my tracks so that I can get everything a whole lot easier. And to do that, all we're going to do is remove this back, this uh, second last wheel in the back here. After we've done that, um, we're going to release the tension off of these track tensioners. Uh, we can do that by um, just this screw right in here. Um, let's see. So right there under my finger, there's a screw um, for the track tensioner. We're just going to loosen that. Um, there is a nut on the other side, and normally I haven't had any trouble where I've actually needed to put a screwdriver on that. So we can just go ahead and loosen that a little bit. We don't want to take it out. And we're going to do that for both sides. So as you can see, the tension is removed off of the tracks. Uh, we can go ahead and remove them. So as you can see, now we have a much better look at uh, what we're doing up here. And um, so these are our sprockets. This is kind of how they work. The transmission runs off to this sprocket here, and then a chain runs up to this sprocket. So uh, what we're going to be doing is taking a 7 millimeter uh, hex driver here. I found is what works for me, and we can go ahead and remove a screw on the inside of here and uh, all your components are kind of going to come out and then this piece here has a grub screw or a threaded rod inside of it so what we're going to do is remove this piece here just by spinning it around you might have to flex it off the chassis a little bit So this is the uh, the grub screw that was in there, and um, what you might have happen is that this Allen key right here was on the uh, on the side that goes into this uh, tube right here, or this pipe if you'd like to call it that. And what we're gonna do is make sure that the Allen screw is facing the outside of the machine, simply so that when you um, when you have to adjust these again, uh, all you'll have to do is remove that screw and then you can put in your 1.5 millimeter uh, Allen wrench and uh, you can back that off a little bit. So what I like to do is set it on here, uh, leaving a gap between um, the machine and this piece right here. This might be a little bit much of a gap So that's about the gap that I like right there. Um, so you can see light through it. And um, it'll come into play a little later on. And we always wanna make sure that this uh, tab is going into the slot on the side of the machine. So how this screw works here is that um, it has no threads on the screw itself, but internally it uh, locks onto, we can see that there but internally it locks onto that uh, threaded rod or grub screw in there and then it tightens it up against the chassis. So that's why we had to back it off the chassis a little bit so that we're able to move it back and forth. Uh, we wanna make sure that we have teeth side of this facing the inside and our screw goes in from the outside. And then this 
part with the slot on it is going to interlock with the teeth on the main sprocket. And then we're going to go ahead and replace our chain onto here. And we want to put the other part of the drive chain onto that other sprocket coming off the transmission. Now we can start to tighten this a little bit until the, um, the piece against the chassis starts to, starts to tighten up. So now what we're going to do is um, we're going to set this, we're going to push it forward by this plastic piece here. We're going to push forward on it until we're happy with the tension. And then we're going to um, tighten that screw down. So for me, that's a pretty good tension there. Making sure that everything is still locked together. And then we can tighten this down. You don't want that coming loose. Uh, make sure that you don't feel any um, any tension against this stuff. You will notice that it will still seem loose. That's because the screw can only go in so far and the only tightening you're doing is this plastic piece really against the uh, against this pipe here because the screw can only go in a certain amount. So don't be afraid um, to give it a little torque. Um, it will still work. So I have these also set uh, pretty tightly, uh, just like I set my tracks. But uh, this helps keep the snow out, in my opinion. Um, and it's it, there's no real movement uh, between these parts here. They're always stable. So now I'm going to go ahead and do this side, which I have already uh, taken apart the other day. So as you can see, that grub screw is kind of coming out with the screw, which is good. Um, that way we don't have to go through any extra steps. Let's see if we can get it in there. So that's all there is to uh, adjusting this chain tension here. Um, I have mine set pretty tightly, but um, I couldn't find anything in the manual or anywhere else that specified uh, the tensions that you want for these. Um, I would just say be careful, um, maybe leave it a little looser than this uh, to make room for if you get any dirt or debris in there. But uh, I've also found that dirt and debris, uh, if you have it loose, can also knock this chain off. So anyways guys, that's how you adjust the chain tension on the Kyoshio Blizzard. Um, this is pretty important because it gets really annoying when these chains start falling off when you're driving and you can't necessarily figure out what's causing it. So after you're done watching this, make sure to check out my video on how to set your track tension. But uh, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.